Hi guys, and welcome to your July 2021. This is going to be the you versus them for the beautiful sign of Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam, say hello to my members. Let's go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yes, I do have a bandaid on my face. This was the smallest bandaid that I had. Okay. I do have a bit of a chemical burn under here. Don't ask. It's something always. If it's not my eyes, it's my headaches. I know, guys, but you know, I'm real just like you guys are. So roll with me. I did not want to. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to work with it. It's on my face, but obviously, I can't put any makeup on it or try to because that's exactly what caused the chemical burn to begin with. Apparently, there was a blemish there or something that anyway, I don't even want to get started. If you're new here, as I stated, hello, hello. I am going to go and get the other band-aids, but just roll with me for now. Um, is this going to be a bit of an elephant in the room, but I just wanted to get as much as I could. And then you will see in the next video, it'll probably be changed to one of those small ones. Um, so, okay, enough of that, because this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And boy, do I have a beautiful reading in store for you. Um, especially with the um um the with the pre-shuffle here so everything that you need is below the july horoscopes are up um the brand new um specials are up if you're trying to connect with me make sure you use the appropriate words uh the code for returning customers is below in the description box but if you go on the website you will see the promotional pop-up for returning and if you click in the announcement bar at the top it's going to take you to a landing page and give you the new client um, sale codes and what it entails and everything has been fixed on etsy as well so if you guys try to book me through etsy you will get that all of that's been updated because that took forever so let's get into it again everything you need is below in the description box this is going to be the you versus them and what's going to be representing the male energy in the room is going to be the blue card. Everything that you need about these decks is below in the description box as well. What's going to be representing the female or feminine energy is going to be represented by gold. Now, not that you would have that, but you'll be able to see gold on the front and the blue. So you'll be able to know what is what from what we're going to go in right now. And we're going to go in and I'm going to tell you about a central issue and that central issue. This is going to be the spiritual advice for you and or the person that you're connecting with Pisces. This is kind of either where you are. It's going to give you spiritual advice or it's going to either add help or maybe show the hindrance between you and the person that you're connecting with. Again, you decide, guys, what that connection is. This is just a you versus them. One issue I'm going to read both perspectives, male perspective in blue, female perspective in gold. And you're going to let me know um, in the description box how you feel about all of this. OK, elevation is coming up between you and your person. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. That's beautiful. Um, and I'm going to tell you the opposite of this elevation, obviously, is that you guys kind of probably have been falling at a lower vibration. OK, um, the top of the deck for the masculines is the Ten of Pentacles, which is beautiful. So this lets me know that in line with this elevation, Pisces um, masculines, you guys are getting to the point where you see success. Well, you see that you can deal with this person where you see that this person is supposed to be a part of your life. And when you come into that realization as a male how beautiful is that? Even as a female, but no woman that is watching this video, no female can listen to um, that and not say that there is not something that is very beautiful about when a man has chosen. OK, um, which means that you guys have probably been up and down and around again. Now, the bottom of the deck um, is definitely shows that this is the king of swords. Um, I know that there has been a certain level of communication, a breakdown in communication, various miscommunications. And this is also the major arcana for Aries uh, with being the emperor. So in the past, there were things that were probably said that wasn't done. Masculines, um, you probably made the feminines feel like 
there was a lot of promises. There were a lot of broken promises, obviously. Maybe you went in and you were more of an emperor with things that you were saying rather than things that you were doing. And now, and that's what I'm feeling. So now I'm feeling like for some of you, now that's going to be changing. The trajectory of that is going to be changing because now it's like, now I'm about to really bring it. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to say it and I'm going to do it. Okay. That's beautiful. Beautiful energy ready to build the abundance, the prosperity, but doing it together, building a home, building a happy life together. This definitely is a card of family. And you see there's three people in the dog, male, female, and a dog. And looking at your home, um, maybe some of you guys are thinking about asking your person to move in with you. Um, maybe you're going to be, you know, living apart, but you're going to seal the deal. That's beautiful energy, Pisces uh, males, okay? The feminine side, which was beautiful, is the Ten of Cups. So love is returning. Um, you guys have went through the entire um, suit of cups. You probably obviously started out with obviously the two and move through. So I know you guys are about to go into the cycle. The masculines are about to advance to the Ace of Pentacles with you feminines and the feminines are about to advance to the Ace of Cups. This is also the wheel of fortune. So for those of you who thought that it wasn't coming, for those of you who thought this love wouldn't get here, for those of you who were under the impression that the love would remain stagnant, that's about to change. The universe is gifting you. Um, the universe is now here to say, you know, there is a turning point. Destiny is going to kick in. There's going to be something that you can be happy about. I'm loving that you guys are vibrating together. Maybe it's to be said that the masculines needed to step up the commitment game and in turn, the feminines needed to step up the love game and really make the love about masculine um, and really bridging the gap. The love is overflowing. Maybe that is what was going on. In the past, you have lost sleep about this, uh, feminines. You've definitely lost a lot of sleep. You've had a lot of anxiety about whether this was going to happen. It goes this way. The head goes down and the, the swords are on the bottom, although you can turn the cards either way. This is where you've been. You have been in a state of having a lot of anxiety, wondering when it would turn, wondering what would happen. So let's kind of go into more depth into what the masculines are going through. Beautiful energy, beautiful energy. So this is beautiful. You guys are finally at a point where you are reaching. Oh, that's beautiful energy. Reaching a point of completion. You guys have both went through the suit. Um, and it looks like there was, you know, maybe you took your love away, feminines, um, masculines. Maybe you didn't take commitment seriously. That's about to change. First card in the energy for the masculines is the king of wands. And this is also, hold on, the magician. This is a blended deck. So your masculines or masculines, you're moving into an energy where you're using all of the, the tools in your arsenal to manifest this. This isn't something just that you want. This is what you need. You're now looking and walking into your power and moving into you're not worried about rejection. You're not worried about someone not loving you. You're not worried about whether you found the right woman. You're not worried about any of that anymore. You're only worried about locking this feminine that you have in mind down. You have everything you need. You have your wine for passion. You have your sword for truth. You have the cup of love and you got that. Um, uh, what are we, we missing? We, you got the pinnacle. What, what am I thinking? You got the bag. So now you feel like I got my mind right, my money right, and I'm ready for war. And the war is just a metaphor, a metaphorical for really locking your person down and getting to a point where you start to build this family. Beautiful energy. We got a lot of stuff coming out. Whoa, yes. We do have the Ace of Swords, as I stated. So this Ace of Swords not, let, not only lets me know that this is a brand new beginning in your clarity and a newfound purpose in life and you're moving more confident and your mind is made up. My mind's made up and my mind's in the right place. Yeah. Hey, that's like free. Cause love is free. That's destiny child free. 
although that's sort of kind of a breakup song, but she's saying, ain't Destiny Child is saying, there's no feeling like being free. When my mind's made up and my heart is in the right place, that's what this is. That is the newfound clarity. You have the tools in your arsenal as the magician. You have the passion from this king of wands as being that king. However, you have a whole nother clarity, a whole nother layer of a brand new beginning and clarity. Yet here is the eight of swords. Eight of swords is that mental fear. You're coming out of those mental blocks that you put yourself in uh, masculines. But here is the other thing with this. This is also justice. So what this is saying to me is that the Pisces masculine went through a period of allowing the feminine or something that the feminine has shown you to scare you. Maybe, and this is kind of where the, the, the feminines is um, walking into, maybe they did need to bring a little bit more love. This really feels like I'm afraid that the feminine is going to leave me. Now you're not afraid. You're going to be stepping out on that fear. You no longer are afraid because in that fear, you got the justice that you have been looking for. When you stepped out in that fear and decided to choose and do whatever it was that needed to be done, in turn, you overcame the very fear that was paralyzing you. And now you're going to be walking into justice. And this is also a metaphor for what? The justice of the peace. Some of you guys are going to be going down to the courthouse to seal the deal. And finally, at the top of the deck, we do have the two of wands. This is going to be the talk. This is this is a passionate discussion or a heated debate in this deck. We also know that it is about choices. We also know that the two of wands has a choice to make. We also know that the two of wands has to be bold. We know that that two of wands energy needs to go from within. But I'm telling you right now that this isn't going to be a problem because we already have the king of wands. So this king is going to be coming towards you, um, feminines, and sealing the deal. We do have for the first card representing our feminine energy, the ace of pentacles, beautiful, which is also the world. Now you guys are about to integrate. Now you're going to walk into that abundance together. Now you're going to integrate. Now you're going to be bringing your forces together. The power couple. Now you're going to be getting your Will and Jada on. No pun intended on their stuff, but you know, two uh, powerful people and meeting of the minds and merging of the hearts coming together. You're going to be coming and bringing and bridging those gaps. For some of you guys, this is also money, but this is the commitment. This is the commitment that they want. They're going to be ready for you masculines when you come in with that offer. Um, this is a beautiful reading, guys. Wow. That passion is here. Uh, feminines, they want to marry you and you are ready for every piece, every drip or drop, every drip or drop. Oh, you guys are married. Well, maybe you were. We do have the king of swords and that's the emperor. So there's also some action on this end that you needed to do. There was some things that you needed to do with your own clarity over here. Maybe you also were so far in your head or you just thought that this would never happen. I don't see of eight of swords, but I do know that if the masculines are is now in an energy where they want to bring this out of stagnation and they are walking toward their passion and it is you that they're passionate about, then I also know that on your end, especially with that nine of swords, letting me know that you were up at night, not able to get any sleep over this commitment or lack thereof, you were worried. Oh yes, you were worried about this. You were definitely worried, but not to worry. You're going to take a leap of faith. This is the beginning. This is the fool um, that was showing here. So you have the world, you have the emperor, you have the fool. You're ready to get it. You are not going to allow the fear. And I think that you just needed to see your masculine energy kind of move toward you where it will open you up because I don't think you ever thought they were going to make the moves that they're making. Okay. And at the top of the deck, we do have the nine of cups. This is what you've been wishing feminists. This is what you've been wishing for. You have been wi wishing and waiting on this person that you love your Pisces masculine to make this choice. 
You have just been waiting and you're finally getting the repayment that you need from the universe. They're going to talk to you. They are going to have a passionate conversation with you and they're going to be having a passionate conversation with you. This particular guy is okay. This king of wands is going to be having that talk with you. Okay. That's the first thing. And when they come to you, they're going to be yielding that sword for truth right there. And they're going to be telling you how I am saying uh, seeing it is that this is justice. And they're going to be using all of those tools. They're going to be talking to you. And that to me is speaking of a proposal or some type of commitment. Okay. Yes. And in the past, we do have, this is what they've been dealing with. They're dealing with some type of pain. Did you walk away from them, feminines? I think that there was some sort of energy here that was lost. They're lonely. They're in the three of swords without you right now. And that's at the bottom of the deck. So they're moving past that. And that is what prompted them. Losing you definitely prompted them to kind of step up. And maybe it was just the fire that they needed lit under their ass in order for them to do something about this. And see, wow, in the past... You definitely were all about loving them. Don't you think that's so funny that that card showed up? You are in it. And it's a possibility that love, another love possibly came your way. And now, but your wish was to, to marry this, this person. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with some choices on the feminine side. Maybe you got uh, presented with some choices and maybe in the past you told them that you were leaving and that you found love elsewhere which was why they had a three of swords um, indicating um, a broken heart in their energy. And now they're going to be coming towards you because your wish was always to go toward them. And they're going to tell you that they're going to tell you how devastated they were um, when you told them, like maybe you found happiness elsewhere. When the, when the wheel turned, um, you got happiness from somebody, even if it wasn't a relationship there was a turning point in the past. And I believe that that turning point favored you, feminines. Okay. Let's go in and close this out right now, Pisces. This is a beautiful energy. We're going to close this out. We're going to get one clarifier. I am so happy that you guys are now deciding to elevate to the next level. Um, you're making a conscious decision um, to have a good time with one another, raising your vibration. Um, and, oh, you guys are about to start the no, you hang up phase. You guys are about to get back into lengthy conversations again, talking a lot into each other, giddy. You're going to be hitting the reset button on this beautiful energy. You're going to be hitting the reset button. And that also goes back to this talk. They want to talk to you. Um, and these conversations are going to be some of the most long and most meaningful conversations that you ever have had. Do you hear me? Let's go ahead. I got too many popping out, too many popping out. Show me what's going on on my mask, my feminine side, well, my feminine side, my feminine side, please. They keep, uh, why is five of them? Okay. I think I see what I wanted. That's right. You're the bride. You are the bride. Look at that wife, partner, interested, love of a lifetime, wedding or event, a commitment or advancement. Um, when, when they ask you, you're, you're going to say yes. You guys are definitely elevating to the next level of this relationship. I'm so happy to be able to bring it to you. Um, this, the, 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 the masculine side has not been able to speak. They have not been able to speak. I think you were very ver verbal, um, feminines about the fact that you wanted Pisces, um, the masculine, and you wanted to marry them with this nine of cups. I think that that was never a thing. This isn't a surprise for you. This isn't a surprise to your person at all. Um, they want to talk to you, a, a, a lengthy, exciting conversation. They want to bring this to you. Um, there is a justice of the peace, um, card or justice. So it could be that you're going to finally get the karmic justice that you deserve, or you're going to get the, they're going to be asking. I really do feel like that's what this is. You are the bride. They're going to be confirming that and they're going to be leveling up and elevating to the next level. So you guys can raise that vibration of love and really get this, this show off the road, this show off the ground. This is beautiful energy. I wish you guys all the luck. Congratulations on elevating to the next level. 
Um, this is definitely going to be the come up. You guys got so many beautiful major arcanas here. So many beautiful major arcanas. And despite of what happened in the past, um, uh, feminines, whatever um, Pisces um, masculine did or this side has done to you, you definitely are going to be taking the leap of faith. You know that they may be a little hesitant, but by the time they get through talking to you, and getting you to understand, which is something that I don't feel like they do that often or they do as much, you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Trust me. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. So beautiful. I can't wait to see you again. Please stay tuned. We're going to be doing the um, What Aren't They Telling You pretty soon. I just had to get these done. And you should start to see them dropping tomorrow. So I will see you then. Bye, Pisces.